Hi, I'm Miss Williams. I'm your instructor. This is Miss Taylor. She's our patient today. We're going to show you some positioning terms. The first position I'm going to show you is the Fowler position. We're going to raise the head of the stretcher up to a sitting position. There you go. Are you comfortable? There we go. This is the Fowler's position. Now we're going to lay you back down. And we're going to lower the head this time. This will be Trendelenburg. The feet are going to be higher than the head. Hold on tight. This is Trendelenburg position. This is the supine position. We have Ms. Taylor lying flat on her back on the table. And we'll just put a film in the bucky underneath her. Now if we have her roll over, don't bump your head on too, onto her stomach, this would be the prone position. Lying flat on your stomach, prone. And then we'll have you turn back over again. While we have her in the supine position, if you want to remember which projection, you can just trace the path of the x-ray beam through your patient, which would enter the anterior surface, exit the posterior surface, and then to the film that we have in the bucky underneath the patient. So this would be an anterior posterior or AP projection. And then we're going to angle our tube toward the head. If we're angled toward the head, this is cephalad, a cephalad angle. And then we'll angle our tube to the feet, which is a caudad angle. Now we're going to have you turn up away from me a little bit. This is LPO position. Her left posterior is touching the table and the right is up. So it is a left posterior oblique. And we'll take your sponge. And we'll turn the opposite direction if we raise the right side up. Or the left side up. This is a RPO position. Right posterior oblique. The right posterior of the body is touching the table. We have our patient in the PA position. An anterior, uh, posterior to anterior, the anterior portion of the body is touching the board, so this is a PA position. Then we'll have you turn around and put your back against the board. Now with her back against the board, the posterior portion of her body is touching the board, so this is an anterior to posterior or AP position. Then we're going to have you turn around and face the board. We're going to angle you this way a little bit with your right anterior portion of the body touching the board and the left posterior away from the board. So this is a right anterior oblique or RAO position. Now we've turned the patient so that the left anterior portion of her body is touching the board and the right is out away from the board. So this is a left anterior oblique or an LAO position.